Guys, Smosh has given me the opportunity to be a couple therapist today. And as someone who doesn't do relationships and who has never gone to therapy, I think I'm the, purpose, the perfect person for this. So let's just get this show on the road because I got a lot to, to say. Oh, I'm supposed to listen. My fault. I have to call from a payphone. Otherwise, I they will trace there me. there for the payphone. Well, you won't be there for me if the government catches me and I die. Hey. Hello. Hey, hello. I have a burner phone. <laughs> Okay, um, guys? Hi, can I smoke in here? Uh, <laughs> you can do whatever you like. Don't do that, there's heavy metals in there. Introduce yourselves, what are your names, what do you do? I am Sarah Christ, ex-detective, hunter for Creekside Killer. Hold on, do, uh, do you have it? are you like related to Jesus the Christ? No, absolutely not. My family, they were not religious. <laughs> How and fuck? they named me Sarah because they wanted me to be a good girl. Okay. But, <laughs> so what's your name? My name is Redacted. How do you spell that? However the U.S. government told you to spell it's that word. It's spelled the way you think oh, it's spelled. Okay. <laughs> what brings you here today? So I've been out all of my days hunting down a killer, searching for clues. And when I come home, I would like a little love. I would like a little connection. Okay. And Redacted <laughs> thinks I'm spying on him. Constantly. I've had this suspicion for a long time. Okay. okay. Uh, and by the way, I am a, I have a conspiracy theorist podcast. Thank you for asking. Okay, what's uh, the name available. of it? Nobody knows. I'm not. <laughs> I've never heard it in my life. You have to find it on the dark web. I can't tell you here. Oh, he okay. won't tell me where it is. He says, you never listen to my podcast. And I say, where is it? And he said, <laughs> you can't find it. Well, if you were a real detective, maybe you could figure that out. Oh, wow. See, wow. What? Wow. I know, I okay. know. I well, hate like, that. Yeah. Look, look, well, the you... thing is, she's not a real detective. Yes. No, no, what she is, she's an undercover cop. Oh, really? No, I, no I'm, I, I am a cop. No, you're, <laughs> no, this is your cover. No. I know what you're really here for. Okay. What is that? Redacted. Well, I don't know, you tell me, fed. <laughs> What? Got it. Okay, so you said that you just want some loving. You want some attention when you come back home from work, right? I would like someone to hold my hand when I watch television. Got you. <laughs> got you. Got you. Okay, so what? Okay. Guys, when did you realize that this was a problem? I bought this wonderful man who won't let me in a drone. It took me oh, years drone. to find. Here we go with the drone. It's a marine drone. Oh wow! And when I gift it to him, he said, "Is there a device in here that you're sneaking up on me, spying on me?" Oh well, that's. I, I wanted him to just use it so we could see the mountains. She gave me this <laughs> toy, except this toy has a camera in it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't trust anything with cameras. Really? Phones. We don't have a picture together. Photo booths. That makes sense. I can understand that. But it's a fun time to put on your fridge. So how is this affecting your relationship? I think that's pretty clear. I mean, just please go go give me some I details, please. Sh in three weeks. Oh. <laughs> um, you might need to go to the, the doctor, the hospital. I've said that multiple times. The hospital? Times. Yeah. The hospital, he yes. He won't go. He's Why? afraid. They take x-rays there. That's Obviously, alien technology. You have a lot of stool within Ancient your body alien and technology. you should release it. No, like... I'll keep my poop where it is, inside oh. my body. Okay. I said I'm very comfortable if you want to poop in front of me. I don't mind. Right. <laughs> She's trying to take samples. I, I know asked it. for it once. I asked for one sample. Why? I wanted to double check to make sure you weren't sick or poisoned by the neighbor. <laughs> The neighbor's my ex-husband. <laughs> Whoa! Talk to each other using I feel statements. I feel the heavy metals coursing through my blood from the GMO wheat that I eat. And I feel <laughs> that the Creekside Killer has moved locations. <laughs> During this investigation by this Mr. Leak, and he is going to attack Again. Guys, you, you, uh, I'm gonna be completely honest with you two right now. You're doing it wrong. What do you want your partner to understand about you? This is the healthiest relationship I've ever had. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. 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 How about for you, Redacted? I can't watch TV with you, because TV will brainwash you. I, I can't have a TV It's Wheel in my of house. Fortune. Oh, <laughs> Wheel of Deception is more mm. like it. I, uh, I kind of agree yeah. with him about Pat Wheel of Sajak, Fortune. Pat Sajak, he's a plant. 
He <laughs> might even be the Creekside killer. His record is clean. <laughs> I'm gonna give you guys some homework. Um, Sarah the Cra Sarah? I don't know how I'll find time for that. I work 18 hours a well, day. That's my, <laughs> well, that's my homework. You need to take Redacted with you on some of your work. When no, you're I'm too busy. Spying my SUV you is filled with papers. Mine's, <laughs> mine's filled with instruments to prove the, uh, the, uh, the Earth is flat. Yeah, but that's my homework for you guys. For that's us to go on an adventure together. Yeah, you guys should go on an adventure together. Show them some of your spying techniques. Yeah, and, and maybe mean, bring the drone or something. You guys are almost like a match made in heaven, to be totally honest. I think that we can really work on some things yeah, together. Yeah. I think, you know, I can help you on your case. You can help me hold um, instruments to measure for uh, I'd aliens. I'd be happy to hold any instrument oh. that you allow me to. You mean like instruments like know. this? <laughs> yeah, Where's I'd be that? happy to hold your penis anytime. <laughs> 